Hi, this is Pat Morehead with More Insights and Strategy, and we are here for another 6-5 podcast. This time it's a virtual in the booth at Supercomputing 2022, and I'm here with my famous and awesome co-host, Daniel Newman. How are you doing, my friend? Infamous, they say. And yes, I'm glad to be here in the virtual booth at Supercomputing 2022. It's a lot of fun, Pat, that we can do these events and we can keep the 6.5 rolling, even when we might be rolling right past Dallas this year. But I love supercomputing. You and I, total geeks, appreciate all the hard work that goes in from our vendor partners like Dell Technologies, and we're glad to have you here, Armando. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, Armando, it's great to, great to have you here. And I have to tell you, uh, HPC as a market has, has really gone from national labs to you know, pharmaceuticals, energy, uh, I mean, all these cool different uh, use cases out there. And it's really been great to see what Dell has uh, has been able to do there. Yeah, I mean, what's interesting that you see in the market today is that, you know, high performance computing, you know, go back 20 years, it was really just in the labs, you know, research. Uh, but where you fast forward today, you know, customers are using it to solve problems in many vertical markets, whether it's financial services, whether it's life sciences, uh, specifically in the government, it's still there. Uh, but you know, you, you see, you know, very across ver many different vertical markets. So we're we're excited to be there. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's super exciting to have you there. And uh, you know, we are, you know, just big fans of following the tech. And over the last couple of years, as Pat kind of alluded to, it just became so prolific. Let's talk about Dell though and HPC a little bit. You know. How is Dell kind of uniquely working to deliver HPC solutions to its customers? Yeah, no, great question. I, I mean, when you look at what we do for high performance computing, what we pride ourselves is that we talk to a lot of customers so that we can understand their pain, their needs, and you know what, what they need to do. And really when you look at how we put our solutions together, uh, what we do is we call validated designs. And when you look at validated designs, really what we're trying to do is come in with a point of view for our customers to help them understand, hey, here are the different compute building blocks, here are the different networking building blocks, here are the different storage building blocks. And depending on what type of performance you need, depending on what type of you know fabric you need, here are the different options and here are the different building blocks. And then, oh, by the way, we put experts behind it, we put subject matter expertise, we test and validate, we optimize and tune based on benchmarks, you know, based on that vertical market. So that's really what we try to do is come in with an expert point of view and guarantee that if you, you know, essentially deploy this architecture, you're going to get the performance we're telling you're going to get. So Armando, one of the biggest trends out there overall in IT is on-prem as a service. Uh, while there was a few years of debate about the, uh, the hybrid cloud, there is no debate anymore. Uh, not only do the traditional on-prem vendors have as a service, like yourself with Apex, but gosh, even the public cloud vendors have on-prem uh, infrastructure. So when I'm on these analyst calls talking HPC with Dell, I hear the same question. Is Dell gonna do an HPC uh, Apex uh, solution? Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm glad I finally have this answer for you. The answer is yes. <laughs> so you will hear us come out with H A Apex for HPC. And so this is a fully managed service, right? And really what we're trying to do here is, you know, based on what we're hearing from customers, uh, they really want a dedicated, you know, essentially a stack. Uh, but what really they want to do is be able to essentially provide that cloud-like experience within their four walls. And so when you look at essentially Apex for HPC, uh, this is fully managed. And what we do is we base this on essentially different, you know, verticals. So you'll see essentially Apex for HPC for life sciences and then also for manufacturing. And so what we really try to do is we build these stacks, you know, manage, maintain. And so we can take that pain off the customer, but we still give them that flexibility. We still give them that agility to go and essentially, you know, spin up and spin down these workloads based on their customer needs. And so we're really excited about it. It's been a long time coming and, you know, now we're ready to talk to you about, you know, Apex for HPC. Uh, so stay tuned for more details. I don't want to steal anybody's uh, thunder. So you'll hear a lot more about it at SC22 uh, as we sit here this week. So uh, really excited about it. Well, we, we may have to leak this uh, virtual yeah. in the booth so we can get it out early and steal all your thunder. No, uh, I mean, I, I already tweeted it out. So oh, okay. you know, did that. yes, it's called that last ever embargo <laughs> that we get as analysts. Um, all right. 
But in, in serious, Armando, that's really great. Congratulations. You know, we've been tracking the Apex uh, product uh, development for a long time, both Patrick and I and our respective firms. We have seen that migration to the on-prem consumption based. And of course, all this ends up being the part of that hybrid narrative. So how do you get more value uh, out of your data? Well, it basically comes down to, you know, putting more compute behind it. HPC is part of that answer. So talk a little bit about how, you know, you sort of started alluding to customer. How does Dell effectively help its customers uh, evaluate workloads and use HPC to get them running faster? Yeah, so, you know, what's really important is when you start to look at HPC, uh, you know, you look at now this convergence of HPC, AI, and data analytics, right? And you just talked about data here, right? You know, hey, how do you get, you know, more out of your data? And what's interesting about when you look at how we interact with our customers, uh, we put a lot of focus on, you know, how do we enable you to essentially start to run these new workloads in your environment? And as you know, a lot of this time, you know, the first step is, hey, I want to do a proof of concept, right? I want to understand how this is going to work. You know, I want to understand how, you know, if there's any value in my data and essentially how do I put this together? How's the workflow? You know, how essentially how do I tune and optimize? You know, what's going to be the stack around it? And so what we do is we really invest a lot in what we call our HPC AI and innovation lab. And so what we do in this HPC and innovation lab is we enable, you know, these quick, you know, two to three to four week proof of concepts. And so we work with our customers and say, okay, what problem are you trying to solve? Okay, what tr workload are you trying to run? What tools do you want to use? And let's go do a proof of concept to make sure that you can execute, make sure that you have the right data to go and do those things. But not only that, a lot of time they have to show that value and prove that, hey, there's actually value in this use case so that they can go back to their higher ups and say, hey, we need to go do this. And by the way, we did a two week POC and here's some new insight we were able to find or, hey, we were able to, you know, you know, the simulation took eight hours. But now with this new optimized architecture, now the simulation takes two hours and you know that's going to help us by X percent. But, you know, really what we started to hear from our customers is enable us to go faster and when you enable them to do pocs faster you get them to that next step right and you get them to you know faster into production and so that's really where we've been focused on when you see this hpc ai and you know data analytics conversions so we are here virtually at sc uh 2022 and we almost got you to uh leak out your entire roadmap here now i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, uh, Armando, what are the big announcements? What are you announcing here at SC22? Yeah, well, we talked about Apex, so, you know, that's one we're going to announce. Uh, but we are actually, uh, you know, announcing a new offer, so a new DVD for financial services. Uh, so when you look at the financial services market, uh, you know, you've heard of the traditional Monte Carlo simulations. You know, we, we all know about those simulations been around for quite some time. But what's interesting, again, is, you know, you look at, uh, you know, stack uh, those types of benchmarks in the financial services industry. And what customers told us is, hey, we know there's a lot of use cases in financial services, uh, but, you know, let's look at fraud detection. You know, let, let's look at credit risk assessment. You know, let's look at real time pricing of markets. Let's look at stack A2. And, you know, that's a benchmark we, we want to go, you know, look at first. And so when you look at this, once again, end to end, you know, here's your compute building block. Here's your network fabric. Here's your storage. And oh, by the way, if you want to do these types of use cases, here's the performance you can expect. And what's interesting is anytime you run stack, uh, you know, you got to play by their rules. Uh, you know, you got to run, you know, their audit. Uh, you got to show them your system under tests. Here's everything we did. And we did that for this, you know, new architecture. Because once again, what I said earlier in the podcast is we back it with benchmarks, right? We back it with real industry standard benchmarks so that we can guarantee the performance. And so we submitted to the stack A2 and what we're able to see is with our stack and our configuration, we were actually able to increase performance by 123% based on space efficiency. And then when you look at essentially the stack A2 benchmark, they talk about cold and warm. Uh, cold is that, hey, you don't have that data loaded. Uh, and so when you look at kind of compute grid environments, cold time is really important and we're able to improve the cold time as well. So some new stuff that we'll talk about, some new benchmarks where we tell you how we optimize and tune. And then once again, that point of view that we come in with, right? If you want to start with Stack A2, you want to do this use case, here are your different building blocks and choose your starting point depending on the performance that you want. Well, Armando, it sounds to me like it's going to be a super geeky, super computing. And by the way, I think that's the only way the attendees really like it. You know, we're looking at how do we push 
the next generation of compute forward? How does HPC drive these AI and analytics workloads that you know are <laughs> solving the most complex problems for every industry? And it sounds like Dell has an exciting story to tell at this year's supercomputing event. So I want to thank you so much for joining us here on this virtual in the booth. 6.5 at Supercomputing, Armando, great guest. It was good to have you here with us on the show. Everybody hit the subscribe button, check out those show notes, stick with us, stick with Dell, check out all of our videos here at Supercomputing virtually, and hopefully next year we'll be on the ground. But for now, we gotta go. See y'all later. <laughs>